the attached product is typically, you'll hear the term townhomes or condos. You're, the easiest way to make a distinction between those two products are the townhome, you typically own the ground underneath your, underneath your unit. A condo, you only own the unit itself and the association owns the ground underneath. And that's the best way. Typically, not always, there's plenty of exceptions that we've even done. Condos are usually multi-story. So you've got, you have a unit and then I own a unit above you. Well, it's impossible for either of us to own that land, both of us to own the land underneath us. So typically your condos are multi-story with different owners at, at various levels. Whereas townhomes typically are one to three units vertical and the same owner owns all of those levels of um, homes. Um, but both of them are typically multifamily. You know, it can be anywhere from two units up to thousands of units in a condo's case. We primarily, we, we do have some condo projects that we've done. We primarily, when we're building um, for sale housing, it's typically townhomes that we do. Um, and those are typically in a row. They'll be anywhere from three to eight units in a row. Um, and so they've got a common wall between, between the two units that you're doing soundproofing, um, you know, fire uh, suppression, you know, that, that you're putting between them. So if somebody has a fire, it's not moving into the neighboring unit. We have done some where you're back to back. Um, you know, the challenge with those is now you have zero backyard because your backyard is someone else's house. And to be able to get, it's tougher for middle units to lay them out and get more than two bedrooms. Um, and most consumers today want at least three bedrooms um, because of the phenomenon of doing more working from home, you know, in addition to the kids and the other things that I want to have that house for. So right now, the most common is the row town home. And that's where they're in a row together. You have the backyard versus we'll qualify the others back to backs. And that's where the units are back to back to each other which we're not seeing a lot of that in, in today's climate. Back to backs, they, they we're not, we don't see them very much right now because of the limitations on how many bedrooms, because a bedroom's gotta have an egress, meaning they have to have access to the outside as an escape in an emergency. And because of that, it makes them really tough to get more than two bedrooms. And so there's just not much of a desire for two bedroom units. But when we've done them in the past, um, one of the ways you resolve the air is an air exchanger. And so it's a unit that you hook your ventilation system, you run a vent pipe to the exterior of the building. And so it's pulling fresh air from the outside into the ventilation system. It's then conditioning it. So in the summer, it's, it's cooling it down. In the winter, it's heating it up. It's dispersing it throughout the house. Well, now you have a positive air pressure into the house. So that air exchanger also takes the old stagnant air and then puts that to the outside. So you have this constant air exchange in the unit. Um, that's the most common way you'll see that. There are also, you can see in these cases, you'll put a constant air fan. So similar to a bath fan that you would turn on, um, you put one of those in, but you put a really quiet one that doesn't make much noise. So you don't have that humming all the time. And that is pulling air out and sending it to the outside. And so then that will draw the air. Not as efficient as an air exchanger, but it also will do the job so you don't have that stagnant air. One of the challenges in a more humid climate, so a lot of your Midwest and your South where it's humid, if you don't have that air exchange, that's when you're introducing mold quite often, which, which can be terrible and dangerous for a lot of people. Um, and so that's where often you wanna have that air exchange. Otherwise you're, you're starting to grow mold and it's just horribly unhealthy.